Dr. Pixel, where we're going to be discussing the differences between stroke and Bell's palsy, something I always struggled with, but let's give it a crack. In order for us to understand this, we've got to appreciate the differences between upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron innervation. The facial nuclei is divided into two. The upper aspect of the face is innervated by the contralateral and ipsilateral motor cortex, whilst the lower aspect of the face is innervated by the contralateral motor cortex only. This is significant because in, for instance, a Bell's palsy, where you have some form of inflammation on the facial nerve or even compression by an adjacent structure, such as the parotid gland, you will have weakness that affects the entirety of the face. In other words, it also affects the upper aspect of the face as well as the lower aspect of the face. As you can see in this individual, you can see him smiling completely on one side with a preserved nasal, nasal um, fold as well as the ability to raise his eyebrow, whilst on the affected side, he has lost the ability to, all, to do all of these things. An upper motor neuron lesion, in other words, the stroke, is slightly different. If, for instance, the stroke is one, on one side, on the right side here, this patient will only have weakness on the left lower aspect of the face. This is because, as well as him having some innovation that also affects the upper aspect of the face from this affected side, he also have some, has some innovation from the normal or opposite cerebral hemisphere. In other words, he will be able to, or she will be able to, raise their eyebrow when asked so if the patient has had a pure stroke. So I hope that makes things easier. It can take a while for it to get um, round our heads. However, um, that's me simplifying it as much as I can. So until next time, see you.